Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to another Friday filler. Thanks for dropping in. Good to see you all. Um, all right, so I've had quite a few people asking me what I have in my pack and what I have in my hip pack. So I'm gonna show you that. First off, Things slightly differ depending on whether I'm going full back country or just like today on the local river. So um, some things I'll leave out, but I'm gonna go through everything I take with me on a day into the back country and then I'll tell you what I leave in the truck when I'm not. Um, okay, so first off, my pack here. I've been running this fish pond, uh, I think it's called a Thunderhead submersible thingy. Anyway, it's uh, fully waterproof. Um, I think it's like a 28 liter and um, I'm really liking it, super comfortable. It's a little bit small for all the shit that I take, but I can get everything in there. It's really solid, it's reliable, it's comfy. Um, does the job really, really well. And I've done swims with this. Uh, I've fished like all day rain and just nothing gets wet. Really, really good. Right, so, first off, um, in here, I've got myself a first aid kit. Um, just one that I put together for myself. Um, just the basic bandages, painkillers, EpiPen, dressings, spray-on dressings, all that kind of stuff. Um, I run a Yeti with um, water and electrolytes in there. And then for the rest of the stuff, I run a um, life straw. So I just drink from the river with this, and then I use this generally for the walks in or out, where there's no water. Uh, these things are wicked, love them, really, really cool, recommend that. Um, in here, it's a dry bag with a spare base layer, bottom spare base layer, top, and some socks, just in case I fall in and get wet, I need a dry set of clothes. Um, what else we got? Spare set of sunglasses, in case I wreck mine. They are low light lenses. Uh, as well, so I've got a spare pair, and also if it does get really, really dull, I can change to those. In here, I've got spare batteries, battery pack. Um, what else is in here? I can't even remember. Yeah, spare batteries, spare memory cards, um, flash, that kind of stuff. In here, I've got my big lens. Uh, it's like a 70 to 150 mil lens, I think. And then bottom got my drone as a Mavic Air um, biodegradable wet wipes just in case you get caught short and then EPIRB really 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 recommend that if you're doing any kind of backcountry mission especially if you're on your own and even if you're not get yourself an EPIRB they're like three or four hundred bucks these days. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't think twice about dropping twice that on a GoPro to film yourself. Why wouldn't you have that? Hopefully you never need it, but I tell you what, if you do, you'll be glad you got it. A headlamp, some spare batteries, fire starter, and some fire starting stuff in here. Um, just in case. Right at the bottom couple of spare muesli bars just in case I do get caught out there and um, need something to eat. That's pretty much it. And then of course I'll have my uh, net, my tripod, my main camera which I'm filming on now, that will go in there as well. And that's pretty much what I have in my backpack all the time. Oh, I might take a little towel as well just to kind of dry stuff off in case it gets wet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just the basics. Well, you know, it's a little bit more than the basics, but that's what I carry with me in my pack at any given time. Seeing as I'm fishing locally today, I will leave my first aid kit and my spare clothes in the truck because if I fall in or I fall over, I'm just going to come back to the truck and go home. Everything else, that's going to go back in there. Next, what's in my hip pack? Okay, so, hip pack. So my hip pack is a Sims something or another. I don't know, I've had it for a few seasons now. It's really good. 
abused the shit out of my gear um, and this is just going and going and showing no signs of um, falling to pieces yet which is fucking amazing uh, anyway it's one of these whoa it's one of these sims jobbies um, I don't know what they're called look it up google it they're good all right what do I have in here so first things first I have my lanyard I love these things no correction I love this thing I've tried a few lanyards and I've been running these golden trout lanyards now for a few seasons three or four seasons now I think and they are the bomb I'll leave the link to golden trout lanyards in the description below um, if you're interested in a lanyard just go and get one of these you can custom make your own you can get what you want on it and they are bulletproof they're really really good anyway so lanyard that lives in here so I don't forget it um, some rubbish some gloves they don't normally go in there all right so I have fly box number one this is my nymph box and my dry fly box well big dry flies here different kind of nymphs here so um, that's a big CNF box uh, I've also got a smaller CNF box and this is smaller dry flies and some unweighted nymphs you know, parachute Adamsy type things, deserts, uh, there might be some worms in there, maybe not. And uh, some small nymphs there. So the second fly box and the third fly box, this is like really small stuff, like soft hackles. Um, some other bits and bobs, some small ones. Um, so yeah, I've got those. Um, then I have my indicator material and tubing and a pair of scissors. Um, this is the New Zealand strike indicator system thing. I did a um, tutorial on how I set all that up. I'll link that up here if you're interested. Um, so that's that. And then, and then, um, I normally have a selection of snack bars and Lucky Lollipops, which I don't have actually today. I've eaten them all, so I need to restock. Um, in the front pocket, I have forceps. These are um, from uh, Rising Nets. Com. Again, I'll link that in the description below. Um, these are the same guys that I uh, get my nets off. They do some good tools as well. These are really good because of this big thing here and the big thumb thing here. Um, you know when it's really, really small and you get your thumb caught in there? It just makes you angry as hell. Doesn't happen with these. Um, some split shot. Um, hey, lucky lollipop. Um, and then I have, um, this is like my dry, this is like my rig holder. Um, so I'm actually going to do a Friday filler on um, these little gadgets. I might do that next week, but um, I'll go into detail on what that is. Uh, you just keep your rigs on there. And, and then I just have a selection of uh, tapered leaders, uh, which I won't be needing for a while. Because I've been nymphing mostly. Um, and that's, that's about it. It's, um, oh, I've got a... A couple of streamers in this front pocket here, um, just in case I needed to chop and change to one um, for whatever. But that's pretty much it, just the basics. Everything between here and here uh, lets me just kind of change shit over, um, retie rigs um, really quickly, really easily, and with no fuss. Um, I've been running this system for quite a while now, and I love it. It's uh, so yeah, I have a lot of the big main stuff in my backpack and then my fishing kind of stuff here and um, between the two I pretty much have everything I need for a day on the water. Uh, awesome, so hope you found this interesting, hope that answers some questions. Uh, thanks heaps for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see, what you're interested in, any questions you got, I'll make a video on it. Well, till Tuesday, have a good weekend, go fishing.